Hey guys, today's on schizophrenia and an associated paradox. Schizophrenia and paradox, but before we get to this paragraph, not paragraph, paradox, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And hey, listen, I've been around a few preludes in my years. I'm no spring chicken. And uh, I'm telling you, this prelude, there's something to it. This kid's got something. It's kind of like, uh, it's very luxurious. It's kind of like a, uh, what's very luxurious? Under the sun, under the sun. What do you got? Really good nonfiction? Oh, that is luxurious. Indeed. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Where me and the bird. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. Hmm. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. Mike the Wren. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. OCS. OCS. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. OCS. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. The conquering schizophrenia. OCS. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to, to topic, topic, to topic. Schizophrenia is always paradoxical to me. And in many ways, not always paradoxical, but very paradoxical in many ways, many, many ways and forms. And one is this. You ever be like in a, you know, okay, kind of a rational mood and then you get triggered and you feel psychotic? And you can just feel like your thoughts, you know, cross the bridge from sanity to reality? Well, it can't be psychosis if you manage your behavior in the beha uh, social environment. It's a cognitive psychosis, indeed, where you feel like your thoughts are in a psychotic realm, but it's not psychosis because it doesn't equate to your behavior. To be psychotic, it has to affect your functioning, your daily functioning, your behavioral functioning, and it has to do so across time. So if you get triggered into a cognitive uh, uh, state of affairs that seems psychotic, it's not entirely psychotic if you can still manage your behavior and stay rational uh, across time in the social environment. So. It's a little paradoxical. Your thoughts may feel psychotic, but it's not full psychosis if it doesn't affect your behavior and your functioning across time. Uh, and uh, it, rather than thinking you're psychotic, it's probably better, or I think it's better for myself to, I say, oh boy, I feel distorted, very cognitively distorted, rather than, oh, I feel psychotic. Although I say that to myself sometimes. But uh, again, you know, psych psychosis is nothing but a, a robust uh, cognitive distortion. So that's a little ditty on another paradox uh, to schizophrenia, a very, very paradoxical disease in many ways. I never read fiction, never. Can't stand it. Can't stand reading fiction. I've always been that way. Takes 10 pages to describe the garden and uh, the walk down the path. It takes 10 pages. I love really, really good nonfiction, and I've always inclined to philosophy, psychology, those kind of things. One of my favorite books of all time was called Flow, F-L-O-W. It's a psychology book on the, uh, the, uh, the experience of uh, optimal experience, um, the study of optimal experience when we feel best. Flow, it's a really cool book. And then I like a lot of philosophy, too. All right, that's it. That's it. I'm going to dive into a, a little nonfiction, and uh, you have a great day. We'll see you next time.